Hi everyone, it's Nick from Bright Ideas Agency here. Um, just a very short video today on the topic of finding your tenant ID. So finding your Microsoft 365 tenant ID is really straightforward and there are lots of options when it comes to doing this. So uh, there are websites like this one from ShareGate where you can just put in a um, domain of a Microsoft 365 tenant and it'll give you the tenant ID. Um, you could find your tenant ID using the organization endpoint in the Graph Explorer. You can find your tenant ID in the Azure portal. Um, you can even find your tenant ID in the address bar when you're using Flow or um, Power Apps. Um, it will show you it here. However, there are certain situations where you need to use the tenant ID in a Flow or an app. Um, and you want it in such a way that you're not hard coding that tenant ID. You want it to be flexible so that whoever opens that flow, so you're sharing it with someone, it uses their correct tenant ID in order to, to move forward through the app. So how do we do that? Well, I've just showed you that there's this graph endpoint here, the organization endpoint. So the, the first thing you'd probably try is calling a graph request to get uh, that information given that you can't get it through something like get my profile that doesn't give you your tenant ID back so let's just run this um, and I'll show you what happens so you can see that this run fails um, and it does so because of an issue that I've covered before which is that the HTTP request actions that are included in your standard connect uh, connectors in Power Automate, bear in mind that I'm talking about standard connectors here, don't allow you to access all of the graph resources. So the organization uh, resource is one that you cannot use in the standard HTTP connectors in Power Automate. So without getting involved in custom connectors and uh, premium connectors, how would you go about doing this? So one way is to rely on Teams. Um, and Teams gives us a nice action called List Teams that actually unusually gives us back our tenant ID. Um, and you can play around with this and try different actions and uh, there, there may be others that do this as well. Um, but there aren't that many um, actions that give you back a tenant ID. So you can see here, um, we get back all of our teams um, and you can see the team ID, the name of the team, but importantly, you can also see the tenant ID. Now, of course, this is reliant upon the user who is running the flow having access to teams and there being teams in the environment that that user can see. Um, so those two things must be true um, in order for this to work. So you've got your tenant ID here, but you have this tenant ID as part of an array of teams. So how are you going to use that? We just want a string, which is tenant ID. So to get that, we can just go to compose, um, create a compose action. And what we're gonna do is create an expression and we want to grab the teams list from our response from list teams and what that grabs for us is the the value within the body and because that's an array but all of the teams in that array are going to have the same tenant id we can just grab the first one and the first one is going to be um, item zero so there we go so we're going to grab item zero and then we're going to grab the tenant id data from that item zero. And let's just say okay. Uh, so what this compose action should do, if we just look at it one more time, is grab that value, get item zero from the value, and then grab the tenant ID from that item. Um, let's just run this. Okay, you can see here, the output of that compose action is this string here. And if we jump back over to our ShareGate website, you can see we have the same string here for tenant ID. 
So this is a simple way to get your tenant ID as generic dynamic content in your flows uh, for a user that's in an environment that is using Microsoft Teams. Um, if this has been useful to you, then please do give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, bye-bye.